What's up guys and in today's video we are going to be talking about why I think that Terminus will be the best Call of Duty Zombies map of all time. So first of all let's talk about the map setting and atmosphere as I think Terminus has one of the coolest map settings and atmospheres of all time. I mean it's set in a prison in the middle of an abandoned island and it gives the, across a Zetsu Budoshima vibe along with a bit of Mob of the Dead and I think that's amazing how dark it is and how cool it looks. And in my opinion, with that in mind, it also gives the players a bit of a classic feel. So if you play classic zombies like from Black Ops 3 and Black Ops 2, it gives that classic feel of zombies back. But it also appears modern because we've got the modern mechanics from Call of Duty Cold War. So it's the best of both worlds for the setting. So up next, let's talk about the boss zombies of Terminus. I think personally, Treyarch have got it perfect with Terminus. We've got the spiders and the parasites, for example. And with the map being an island map with a prison it just gives the map that little bit more aesthetic that little bit more atmosphere that we want from zombies and i think because of that the map feels a lot more scary and isolated and like something's always coming after you and that's what you want in zombies and that adds to the gameplay as to everything so they hit the nail on the head with the boss zombies. I'm just going to say the only one they might have failed at, to be quite honest with it, is the Mangler. I don't think the Mangler should be in this map. But other than that, I genuinely think that the Parasites, the Spiders, and all the other creepy crawlers that they've got on this map are perfect. Up next, let's talk about the map size. I mean, Terminus is looking absolutely ma massive. And to me, if it's looking absolutely massive, there will be lots to explore and discover in the map, which is super, super exciting. I'm personally looking forward to this as I feel like when you have smaller zombies maps, for me personally, I think smaller zombie maps are much more boring than the bigger ones because the bigger ones have much more to explore, much more to discover, and there's lots more to do. And also the fact that you have a speedboat with all these different islands. I mean, that's so exciting. It's super, super cool that we that we have that. That just shows you how big this map could potentially be. And Treyarch have come out on record and said this is one of the biggest zombies maps they've ever made of all time. Maybe it's bigger than even Transit. And if it's bigger than Transit with a Black Ops 6 engine with no fog, this map is going to have some serious detail which I can't wait to dive into and I'm sure you guys can't as well. So up next, let's talk about the potential storyline for Terminus. I mean, the intro cutscene alone for me really hyped this map up because, you know, they're escaping from a prison. They've been in prison for years and we're going to work out how they get out and what's going to happen in order for that to be the case. And I'm also looking forward to this brand new character, Maya, because we don't know who she is. We don't know what her involvement in the storyline is and that's so cool the fact that we've got a bit of mystery finally back into the zombie storyline and if they get her character right along with all the other characters that are present from cold war this is truly going to be an epic zombies map and we've got to remember as well this is a set crew which are going to follow us to all of the other zombies map excluding liberty fall and this to me is just super super exciting so we have a proper proper storyline going Treyarch have also said themselves that the easter egg for this map is going to be more in-depth and complex which is really exciting and this means that the players will be more involved in the easter egg which I wanted because in Cold War and even some previous zombies maps the players are not involved enough but to make the players feel involved makes the map feel alive, makes, it, makes the storytelling a lot better and I can't wait for that. Up next, let's talk about the side easter eggs. So Treyarch have actually come out and said that this map will have the most side easter eggs of all time. And this is huge because this means there'll be so much to discover. And with that much stuff to discover, I truthfully think, obviously depending on how the other things go of the map of course, the map alone will have a much longer lifespan because people will be spending so much more time discovering them and we've got to remember some side easter eggs are pretty rubbish but some side easter eggs are absolutely amazing they're filled with storyline depth little fun activities you can do to make the map a bit more interesting some side easter eggs even change the dynamic of the map altogether and change how it plays and how it feels and to be honest with you i can't wait for that i think that's what zombies need because cold war was really lacking in that field so I think it's a really really good opportunity for Trout to show us really what they can do in a modern Call of Duty game and I can't wait I really can't wait <laughs> Okay, and last but not least, let's talk about the gameplay. Now, I think the gameplay is a combination of everything I've just previously talked about in this video. I mean, 
gameplay is just so so important and i think if treyarch combine all these things correctly with all the boss zombies the atmosphere and the setting this has the potential to be one of the best zombies maps of all time in terms of gameplay and how fun it can be i mean the fact that the map is so big you can explore different areas you can hang out in different areas you can learn things in different areas and you can have strategies in different areas such as training spots camping spots little things like that it's going to be amazing and i'm genuinely looking forward to it we've got a new perk in the map as well and some of the features from cold war have remained there and i think truthfully that's important as well so people have got familiarity so we can just jump in we'd have to do too much learning yes it's good to learn about the zombies map but we'd have to learn too much stuff we could just jump in and have a fun time and i think you can still do that on terminus they did say terminus is the more hardcore zombies map but i genuinely still think despite that being the case i still think it will be a very easy learning curve we can just jump in and have fun with a zombies map that's got a lot of depth and war in it and that's what we want anyway guys that is going to be it for today's video um don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i look forward to seeing you guys on the next one peace out